So I went to, to San Miguel in 12, and 12, 16 to a residence, to an artistic residence. After finish, finishing a film uh, that I made, it's a documentary about uh, some woman in Japan who dives in apnea. Well, finished that process, I went to San Miguel for the first time. It's an archipelago of islands, Portuguese islands, with nine islands. And San Miguel is the biggest one. And uh, immediately when I went there, I was completely fall in love because it's a very beautiful island, very green, very blue also because you see, you know, sea all around. And um, I stayed in a very, very poor village, which is Rabo de Peixe. It's probably the most poor area in uh, Europe. Uh, it's a, a village with fishermen, they mainly live from the sea and uh, immediately on the first day I was close to the sea with the fishermen. They were cleaning the nets, you know, close to the boats and there was a group of uh, youth, teenagers, crossing that area and they were just girls, very young, with super dress, high heels, a great maquillage and they, when they crossed me I felt they were trans girls and I was wondering how does this you know cohabit all together and I immediately understood they were you know daughters of the fishermen and uh, you know they hug it and uh, kiss it I said wow how is this possible here how you know how is the daily life of these people and of course, I'm from documentaries. In my last films, I work it with reality. So I talk with the kids and, uh, you know, I made some questions, how is your life? How about your futures, your dreams? Do you want to stay here in the island? Do you want to, you know, cross the ocean? And they were really sad. They were with the lack of dreams. And that impressed me a lot. How are you a teenager and you don't have dreams. And why they didn't have uh, uh, dreams? Because they were trans, they were queer, queer, uh, queer uh, teenagers. And if on hand they were, you know, accepted in the society, on the other hand, they couldn't have uh, um, a proper job, studies. They couldn't move from that village to other village because they were really poor. So they are trapped in the island. And uh, I thought about myself when I was a teenager. It's a very tricky moment in our lives, you know, because we want everything, but we, we live in islands. All of us live in islands. So I started to, you know, to do a research in the entire island to, you know, to find more uh, queer girls and boys and people. And, uh, and then I started writing a film. And then uh, after that, I, I started thinking, I cannot work with the actors in this island. It's impossible. I need to work with them, with the kids. I want to make a film about them, with them. So uh, then we start to, to build a, a long process of, of casting. Uh, and uh, here we work with the kids. They are the actors of the film. The, the title of the film came from an expression that we use mainly on literature, which, uh, which is um, what does it leave between a dog and a wolf? It's something that, you know, very... You cannot catch, uh, catch that because it's uh, something very... Uh, uh, you cannot see exactly what it is. It's like uh, what, it, what lives between uh, day and night. It's that special, special moment, the, the magic hour. And I believe that uh, being a teenager is that moment in your life. It's uh, very fast. And uh, sometimes we are wolves and sometimes we are dogs. But on the youth moment in our lives, we are everything. We are everything. On adult life, I would say that we are both. Sometimes we are a wolf when we allowed ourselves to be a wolf, to be free to not think about what they are going to think about me if I do th this or something different from the normativity. But uh, 
I would say that mainly we are dogs. We are, you know, very ordered and uh, uh, I don't, I don't know the right word, but we, it, we try to belong to something. And to belong to something, we need to follow some rules. We need to be a dog. And uh, in the film, what I feel now that I'm here uh, with some some distance is, uh, yeah, we are both. We are both, but uh, our focus should be, I would say, should be to, to be more wolf, to be more free. And these kids are totally wolf. And the main characters of the film, Anna and Luis, I would say Anna is a dog trying to be a wolf. And Luis looks like a wolf, but actually his life is like to be a dog. When we dance, we don't have much rules, really. If you go to a nightclub and, you know, if you take a look to the other people dancing, you can recognize the identity of each person, you know. And so it's a moment where you are, you are a wolf, you are free. And uh, in uh, youth, I think uh, you dance a lot. Uh, you talk without thinking too much in the words. And uh, I try to, to catch that moment when the kids are chatting, you know, just who they are without thinking. And dance is that. Uh, swimming is that. You know, it's like fly. You are completely free. Maybe is why I took that scene. I don't know, I didn't think too much about that. But they dance a lot. And uh, with the film I tried to, because I wrote the film firstly uh, by myself, and then uh, I rewrote the film with them. Uh, you know, because they share with me their lives, their experience, their stories, and I integrate their stories in the, in the film. So the moments of uh, dancing, the moments of uh, going to the, uh, you know, to the beach at night, of uh, crossing the, uh, the island uh, in some dangerous places where stories sharing, uh, shared with me. It's not my stories. It's, uh, in that point, this film is a documentary because they are acting themselves. They are not actors, they are just being themselves. Some of them are not using their real names, but it's a kind of protection, you know, to sometimes when. Uh, uh, you choose to be a character like me, I'm here. I'm a, a character of a director, but I'm also other characters. But this, uh, this freedom to choose a character, it's, uh, it's something that can protect you. So in the film, some of them are not using their names, but they know very well that uh, character. They are, they are very close to, to that, the character. During the process of the casting, it was during a little bit more one year, uh, the casting was just this, sitting in a chair with a camera and talk, they talked with me. <clears throat> and I heard, I heard the very <clears throat> tough stories about aggression, about, uh, you know, violation, sexual abuse, uh, about uh, suicide. And uh, I tried to, you know, connect with someone in the islands and psychologists and uh, <clears throat> social, you know, professionals to help me to understand what is happening here. And I understood that there was not a LGBT association or any project to to help these people. So I thought, okay, I'm a director. I'm making a film, but I cannot use these people and you know left the island without uh, you know trying to to create something to help the future of them so we create an association an lgbt association in the island that actually I, i'm not connected at this moment but i, I just you know help it to to the beginning of the process so we have uh, therapists and uh, some people from sociology field and they are you know they are working with them and they are helping a lot not only the kids and the adult lgbt person but also the families 
because when you live in an island, in Portuguese island, they, they are very conservative. There is a huge pre presence of, you know, Catholic religion. And they struggle themselves on the daily life. So they really need, you know, some different point of view that some people that can say, everything is okay with you. You can be whatever you want. And the film also gives this, I would say not only to the, to the characters, but also to the audience, you know, we can be whatever we want.